We need to clean this apartment today, sir. Yeah. We need to clean. Right. I hope they look good. There's always good. What you should do is make a stack of stuff for me that I can give away. This morning was the kith drop. Everybody knows kith clothes. Basically, the jackets you guys asked me. God. My dude is wild. Anyway, Kith Columbia is one of my favorite collabs from the last year. This new collab is a little bright and a little crazy. This drops a little wild, there's some stuff, but a lot of the black stuff I really like. But the real thing is, is the trail boost. So like, you know, if you've been following the channel, I uh, am probably one of the few who really, really fucking rocked with the trail boost. The first one that Ronnie put out, I wear it all the time. I have two or three pairs in there. Um, I love that shoe. And then the pink one, day the drop, only came in 11 and a half in store. Uh, <laughs> this is funny. That's so my going to get me pretty much everything that I Mainly I wanted the shoe. The in-store 11 and a half was the biggest they carried. Like what the fuck dog? Like Ronnie, dog. And four, four, count them. One, two, three, four. Size 13s that loaded on the internet. Currently I'm not really sure what's happening. I may have the pair for retail because I have gracious friendships that I've created, but we'll see. Yeah, Ern's coming over because we're gonna go ahead to this we're on an adventure today, so, supposedly. Oh, this day's a little, like, I don't know. I haven't really been emotional about it lately, but it's a little emotional today, because today's the day a year ago. It's hard to be emotional when this dude's running around being crazy, but um, today's the day that Doobie passed away a year ago, if you guys remember. Um, <clears throat> I was doing a pop-up last April 1st, so on March 30th, he, um... Yeah, he passed away. So, uh, yeah, it's just been a year. It's been a... Omar, come on, dude. It's been a year. It's just pretty crazy. Um, time fucking flies, and I miss the shit out of that dog. Like, I can't even express how much I miss Doobie every single day. The dog taught me more about myself than I think really any human relationship has ever taught me, to be honest. I mean, I learn a lot, I think, from people, but I really think that Doobie taught me more. Uh, so yeah, I miss him like crazy. Everyone's support when he passed away is still like one of the, if not the biggest thing to me. I cannot even believe um, how many people cared. I can't believe people reached out. I can't believe how many people still reach out and talk about Doobie like he's part of the family. So yeah, it's just been cool to uh, grow through it as much as it sucks. And I know a lot of people have lost dogs. Um, since then, a lot of you have talked to me about it. You know, I try to offer as much help as I can with, you know, trying to find peace with it. And it's incredibly hard, it never really goes away. Like, you know, when you love something or someone, it doesn't really just go away. You might tell yourself certain things to get through the day, but I don't think it ever stops. So uh, yeah, I miss him like crazy. Obviously love Omar to death. I'm somewhat convinced that Omar is a reincarnate of Doobie because Doobie passed away on March 30th. Then you have March 31st, which is tomorrow. And Omar's birthday is April 1st. Of course, my little April Fool over here. I'm gonna try and find him like a little cake and a little hat for his birthday, maybe some toys, but his birthday's on Sunday, April 1st. Same day as the Holy Holy Pack drop. So much your birthday, crazy man. Did you know that? Hmm? Um, but yeah, so appreciate everybody as always. Uh, even a year ago, the people who reached out and sent their condolences, it's just a day of reflection on that situation, I guess. So uh, yeah, shout out to Doobie, the realest pup to ever pup. I'm gonna roll a Doobie for Doobie now and wait for Ern. He just said, repeat what you just said for the camera. I cameras. said, fuck it, everyone else is taking them, so I took one too, I'm thirsty. Oh my god. The best part is there's a cap halfway down the hall, like somebody Someone literally like took it, was like, took it. <laughs> yeah. this place is falling apart, uh, it's because I'm leaving the whole place. Is it's amazing. It wanes, huh? Yeah, I had to break them out, and this- You've never worn them? No, I've worn them one other time. White, white. black, white. Yeah. You need a black hat, it really set it off. Yeah, dog. Oh, so, some kid just stopped me on the way out. I got out of my car. He was like, dude, that hoodie's fucking dope. And I was like, oh, thanks. Oh, it's Teddy.com. Those are fucking dope. Oh, uh, so there's the Kith drop this morning? A homie was going to Kith who, like, you know, he's plugged up, so he's like, yeah. get you whatever you want. Yeah, this morning, he's like, the biggest size in the pink trail boost is 11 and a half in both New York stores. 
And that dude, Presidential John Adams, like, had a screenshot of him checking out the 13. So I quoted his tweet, and I was like, you're dead to me. <laughs> and then he hit me up and was like, dude, just PayPal me retail, they're yours. So he hooked it up. There's only four size 13s that got loaded onto the website. But shout out John Adams for the motherfucking... Ooh. I gave him a golden ticket for our merch. I was like, anything that we ever drop that you want, you have, you can get for just free. Like, just tell her. And I was like, yeah. I don't care if we drop a $500 rhinestone. Fucking jean jacket. Speaking of golden tickets, if you haven't got yours yet or won, wait, this weekend, there's two of them. Deuces. All right. Oh, by the way, you can get ready to roast me. Because um, I'm going to, for uh, the next two weeks, I'm trying to only vape weed out of a PAX. I know. I see your face already. Why are Why? you even here? What's wrong with what you? What the fuck? No, 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 no. We're not doing this. What? We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We gotta go to the weed place. No. Yeah, well, that's fine. We're not doing this stupid fucking PAX thing. We're not doing this. You don't I'm, have to do it. Yeah, I have to hang out with you. I won't hit it in front of you. Well, who, who? who Cause what? I'm trying to run a half marathon. What does that have to do with smoking a fucking joint? Cause I think if I don't smoke you joints think. for two You don't have any This is my experiment. I want to experiment. Experiment when I'm dead. I don't want to fucking do this. I don't want to be around you for fucking two weeks not smoking weed and only smoke, so we can't smoke a joint together is what you're saying for two weeks is that really what we're doing here? one week maybe i just want to i think i can run faster you are not going to be able to run faster if you don't smoke a joint i hate you i hate you because this is going to go in the vlog comments they're going to be like teddy doesn't even run what the fuck is he talking does i'm doing vaping it's make easier you run faster I hate it. Yesterday, I only vaped. I hate it. I hate the taste. Why are you doing this? Because in my head... <sighs> You're not even gonna fucking make it that long. This is just another one of your fucking... I'm, it, it's funny that it's on the day that we're going to look at fucking It's not weed. funny. You're just a piece of shit. Over this. I'm not dealing with it. Cool. Well, I'm rolling a fucking joint. And I'm just gonna hang Good. out. Congratulations. Hang out. Fucking why don't you fold your skirt while you're at it, you fucking pussy. It's just an experiment. It's just an experiment. You're a fucking experiment. I, I have my times for my... I don't care. I knew you weren't gonna like this, but... You're such a fucking weirdo. I am a weird person. I, I, You're not even gonna do this. It might not last. Long. I, it's definitely not gonna last two weeks. I'm not, I'm not talking about it either. You're not allowed to bring it up. It's the only time we're talking about it. Fortnite was great last night. I think we're coming together as a team. Not really, but... I think we'll be alright. I think I'm not gonna be as bad as you think. I think I'll find a new teammate because I don't play with people who vape. It's, I'm just temporary vaping. Cool, so you're only temporary fucking retarded. Well... See, he don't fuck with you either, because he don't fuck with people with a vape. He don't fuck with people with a vape. At ease, soldier. This dude ain't, he ain't, he ain't who you remember. <laughs> and every time I roll a joint, I gotta smoke it myself, first off. And then I gotta fucking deal with you, you know, like in your corner with your old vape pin. <laughs> Acting like a <laughs> fucking douchebag. I haven't seen you in like three days, and this is what I get. Immediately. Uh, Immediate trolling. It's not a troll. It's all the fucking this shit. This isn't a is. troll. You're just a ridiculous person. Oh this man. This is too much. Like paying you? This is like, is this like a secret thing you're getting paid for? Was the ad? Oh. That's the one fucking no. hit you off of the check. No. <laughs> getting fucking brand deals because you're just such a troll. They're like, hey, troll Teddy with this product. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted, like, if in two weeks I'm like, there's no fucking difference, then I'm gonna go right back to smoking joints, but I'm like... And if there's not, then I'm dealing with a fucking rollerblading, vaping fucking friend I gotta hang out with. Sometimes, sometimes the road to self-discovery will fucking leave you in a lonely place. You know what I'm saying? No. Be careful with it. Uh, cause I'm vaping. Yeah, vaping, rollerblading, you got one more strike and you're fucking out, son. I'm not rollerblading. What's your live stream gonna be like? The most boring fuck. Oh, you gonna start doing fucking vape tricks and shit? You start. You're gonna get some fucking techno to fucking. Did that yesterday. Yeah. I've been on one all week. I'm surprised she's not turned on since she likes BMX riders so much and white trash. I'm surprised she's not just stay taking a day off. Fucking, you guys stay in the love shack. Packs back then, no, I bet. Fuck the fucking packs. Yeah, packs. I said it. You are getting paid. You said packs like twelve times. How many times they want you to say it in the vlog? I'm gonna cut it out.
No, I am not. Dude, vaping vape. is just not the fucking same. It's it all not, tastes like burnt it. popcorn. It's it gross. does. It doesn't even taste. The weed good. doesn't get you. Like takes all the effects of your weed and puts it through a fucking <coughs> Instagram filter, and you don't get hot. I know. It's like the same vape filter. <clears throat> I have to dab like a man. I hit that. Yeah, right. You can't hit this. Fuck you. Go ahead, motherfucker. You ain't hitting shit. Nelson. Hey, I'm going to SneakerCon tomorrow. I know you guys aren't going to be there, but do you have any ideas of what I can do for some trolls? I don't want it to be a boring day. I like when people ask me. That's what I don't understand, so how do we promote it then? I don't know. You Wait don't. a minute. It's just there. What's up? Fucking go ahead. Go ahead, you weak fuck. Vaping. You ain't vaping shit. <laughs> Piece of shit. Why are you gonna call me a weak fuck? <laughs> you get me to do this. And then you call me a weak fuck. <laughs> like if I stick with vaping, you just make fun of me. I hit the joint, you're like, you're a weak fuck. Because you should have never even brought it up. You just came in here, smoked the joint, and left it at I'm that. I'm still vaping a lot Great. more. You can vape when you're not vapor, around me. Uh, you That's fine. Talk about yeah, it. around me, you're smoking joints. Joints are better than my joints too. You've got to understand. Like smoking your joints, I'm smoking weed. Yeah. Smoking my joints. It's just it's a little material. paper, it's material. They're, my whole house looks like it's on probably fire. Cat, Brandy probably can't cat see hair. me across yeah. the Dispensary, the Natty Rims, not the dispensary. We're headed to the grow. Pretty fucking rad. Hopefully they're growing tangy right now. Hope they're all in separate rooms so you can smell. I got a lot of dreams and hopes here. We're gonna see if they come true today. So um. you should make a I think you should make the call. If you look at that and you think that doesn't look water is gone. So I'll have Ernie look at it and then when he comes and see what he thinks and then based on what he thinks, I'll take a look at it too and then we'll just um, I don't think so. We're brand ambassadors. Recording this, so if I'm wrong. Yeah, it'll be amazing. <laughs> it will be amazing. I uh, dude, yeah, I get to the barber shop and I reach in to pay and I'm like, where's my for the record I asked Ern if I need my ID and he says no, but I so he has no idea actually. I don't have my ID either though. Alright, so. where are we going? Where's this the way? Car's right here. <clears throat> get out of here with your fucking shit. Did you have to show the product too? <laughs> actually try and do this with a company. Yeah. I'm gonna try and troll myself into a little money, and I'll tell you. You start pulling up in the fucking Rari. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> License plate. B L U three A P R N. Dude, looking back at it, looking back at it, this dude dream sequence was crazy. <laughs> it's like some backwood shit. Out of it's fucking Kodak black down, Kodak ruining my fucking wait, goddamn. Wait, but I need the directions. Well, I, I, the music shouldn't even be on. Yeah, I agree. Dude, this Nixon's coffee is delicious. Oh my god, only eight ninety nine a pound. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't know how much a pound. I don't know how much it is a pound. I'm still getting paid. <laughs> I'm getting paid either way. <laughs> the uh, grow operation. Ern is very nervous in the background because oh. he doesn't know if we need to have our IDs or not. So. Let's see how this all plays out. I'm gonna take you on an inside look of a panic attack of a grown man. Judges, anyways. Okay. Do your thing. We've got a license. Do you need it? Your driver's licenses? Yeah, everything. We can. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. We need your license. No. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. I should have reminded you, but crap. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need that. I'm so sorry. And I asked. As we walked out, if I needed it, and he said, What'd you say? I said, I don't have my ID, I don't think it's gonna be an issue, yeah, but it is. Sorry. That's okay, it's not your fault. I'm just not oh, sure. I should have reminded you. I mean, we have time to come back. I don't know. No, it's because not. we have to go to my house too, dude. Yeah, it's like you need to reschedule, sir. Well, it's a beautiful lobby. Let's take a look at the right. lobby. I can smell. I don't like the guys. It's just an urn thing. Well, this is not a, I straight up asked him and he said Yeah, no. but even if you had yours, I, I mm -hmm. didn't have mine. Uh, that's, that still makes, my bad. I makes it an urn you. thing. Tuesday is great for me, but I can make anything work with you, your it's schedule. Good. I knew this was going to happen. I can't do Tuesday until like after 3. Tuesday after 3 would be awesome. Yeah, that's for fine. Me. Yeah. I hope it wasn't so inconvenient. Oh, it no, 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 no. It's just, the, it's well, it's inconvenient idea. for me because I planned my whole day around it, so, but now I get to yell at him. It's okay. He's yeah. batting, he's batting a thousand. It's great. Yeah. It's for me. Remind people they need their IDs. No, don't blame yourself. Blame me. Yeah. That's, Whenever you're feeling down, don't blame yourself. You know how blame this guy. Do it. 
It's because I'm vaping now. Yeah, you fucking asshole. It's karma. You came over here with no ID. Like, you came all the way to my house with no ID. I didn't know I had it until it was too late. The good side. Liz, what? <laughs> that today's vlog is to be titled, Another Urn Fail. <laughs> no, please don't call it that. What should I fucking call it? I don't know. A nice ride. Yeah, that was fun. That was a nice ride out in the middle of nowhere. They need anything from It's amazing. Uh, oh my god. Of course we need IDs. We roll in, the guys got, everyone's got badges yeah, on. Yeah, of course. That's why when you're like, yeah, I don't have mine, it doesn't matter. I was like, well, fuck. I guess, I mean, you're right. It didn't matter since you didn't have yours, but the fact that you started this. Jack these guys for their IDs. Their IDs just completely. Sneak it. My god. Hey, I'm back. Which we've been organizing for months. 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 Literal months. With this grow operation from Natty Rims. And uh, that is not happening today. Because on the day of, my trusty, my trusty manager here, Dirty Urn, forgot my life. Forgot his ID and then convinced me that I didn't need mine either. Oh my god. Yeah, maybe you should pack your fucking vape pin up again, pussy. I let down everyone. <laughs> Street. Avery, Avery, Avery one. the vlog, the plants, plants. I could smell it. Jesus, it smelled so good in there. I can only imagine it even more now. It's like a taste. Oh, I thought you were trying to be Banksy. No, no, Banksy's probably out there trying to be me. <laughs> if you're watching this, Banksy. I think Banksy's probably one of our fans. We wouldn't know though because he's Banksy. It's like in the shadows, I really like this Dirty Urn character. <laughs> uh, he's like, you know, he's like a living, he's like a living art piece. <laughs> he's, he's like, what is it? He's like living graffiti, you know, like he exists on something. You don't necessarily want it to be there, but after it's there, you're kind of like, oh, okay, whatever. It's too hard to wipe off. You try to wipe it off. It doesn't exactly come off and then it looks uglier. <laughs> That's a stain. That's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I'm a huge fan. <laughs> You should, for that part, cut to the clip of him and just yeah, put yeah. your voice. That was a nice ride. Yeah, that was great. I enjoyed it. Good Third times. Early. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now, ladies. Yeah? Oh, we can get all sorts of stuff. Oh, yeah. Seven. You need these for the shoes? Hell room. Trolling. Uh, Perfect. It was right on top. Nice. nice. Thank you. <sighs> Make it to the hall. I'll give you five dollars. Five? That's it. Guy can do it. Here. Hold on. No, I can't. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Hey, what's up? Get him. Wait, you have these already. Right. Thank you. Somebody also put this in the vlog because it hasn't showed up yet. Somebody also sent the boost blade to the shop for you. It has shown up. I told you to grab it from Sager. I I went this morning. Then Abby just didn't know where it is. I said, "Is there a mail here?" Why are you mail? asking Abby? Because he wasn't in the shop. Don't and ask Abby. Mail. If you need to know uh, what fucking year a Honda Civic came out, what spoiler fits it, ask Abby. Oh, she's gonna be pissed. Oh, the Pharrell boost you wear. You told me that in the car on the way over. I'm mean, sorry, I stopped answering. Oh shit, from the event. The only time I release. Shout out to Stock X for the hookup. The one and shit, like the test pad. Yeah, that's because there's other colors coming in. Yeah. For a second, it looked like a pair of the AM4s in there, like not the Pharrell on the back, because oh, I didn't know it. Could. It's not even the right shoe. <laughs> so funny. Nice. They smell like glue, like straight up. Smell it. it smells just like glue. Shoe. Red laces. These feel lighter than the other ones. I could be out of my mind, but maybe it's right. It has less material. Yeah. Like way less material. In between. Nice light. Oh, Teddy, enjoy these Aussie treats. I chucked some Tim Tams and two. Oh, my love to Omar. Much love. Aussie pod plug, Jaden. 
Uh, your name is not on here, so I'm gonna assume that. No, these are mine. Here. Okay. You're not taking them home. We well, don't fucking eat vaping ass. Oh. Ooh. I gotta try them. I haven't tried those yet. People that have left America and live in Australia for these. We're balanced. Tide flavored ones, you think? Yeah, these would be real pods. Alright, so, um, somewhat of a uh, not efficient day. We were supposed to take you guys on tour of a grow house, grow operation, not house, but it didn't work out. So Tuesday, we'll do that. A week, it's been a pretty crazy week. Had a lot going on. We have the restock on Sunday of this design. Um, all of everything that dropped last week will drop again. There is also another design, well, Technically, there's two. There's one design that's really limited. It's not a holy design. Shipping label shirt that I put on Instagram in brown. That drops in really limited quantities. And then there's a show and tell design that also has the holy pattern. Um, but that all drops Sunday, 10 a.m. Mountain Time. I know it's April 1st and I know it's Easter, but it's still dropping. And I also know it's also Omar's birthday. So um, I'm looking for a cake for him right now, actually. Other than that, today got a little uneventful because my day got you know, sidetracked. But to save the day, my homeboys, my main men and women, the lovely people at StockX who made sure that I got the grail, looked out for me super hard this time, and in the mail came the Pharrell Ambition Beta BYW from the 747 event. Came with this card, it's your size 13 packing slip here. And then, oh, you can't see the 13, but there it is. And then it says, the best things in life take time and are rarely perfect the first time around. There's something beautiful about that process from the intangible to the tangible. Today I began my basketball journey with Adidas. The first step, the beta phase, the rest is coming, Pharrell Williams. So that's the card you get in the bag. I'm not focusing. Okay. okay, so the shoe itself, BYW vibes all the way. So it's basically, um, I mean, I think the people who got this shoe before me knew good and well when I got this I was going to bug out because of the upper and they're completely right. I'm kind of bugging out. This shoe is amazing, but we'll get to it. Uh, this is what the shoe looks like. First off, the colorway. Let's go ahead. Let's start with the colorway. A lot of people don't like the colorway. A lot have been brainwashed by Ronald McDonald their entire lives. So when they see red and yellow, they only think of McDonald's. Um, that's like a deeper issue. But this, this here is made to represent the fruit stands of Los Angeles, just like the rest of the 747 colorways, just like the AM4. That's why it's red, yellow, and green. You silly fucking people. Oh, the boost part of it is all the same as the level one. You have three split sections of boost and then this chastity chastity plate that holds it all together. <clears throat> so that that's really no different. The only difference really is the color of that plate. But the upper, the upper on this motherfucker is way different and amazing and it's everything I love about Prime Knit. It's true 100% like amazing Prime Knit. It's, I mean, this is there's no other prominent like this, really. It's great. I thought it was gonna be thick and kind of hard to get on my foot, like the crazy explosives, but it's not. It's not that um, forged prominent. It's just straight, comfy. There's no support in the shoes, so don't try to play basketball in it, I don't think. Unless you're draining threes from the perimeter like, like me. You start trying to pivot, your foot's gonna fall off of this, I do believe. I would say it's a lifestyle shoe. This has even less support than the level one, but even more comfort. It's ridiculous. It's straight up crazy. The way that the PK holds your foot down, because there's really no tech inside here. The only thing inside of the shoe is there's this faux suede lacing reinforcement system. There's a little bit in the heel as well. A little plastic piece in the heel. Other than that, and the insole, nothing. Uh, so the way your foot is locked down onto the boost, and then the uh, independent movement of each of these boost pods married with the lockdown is, I mean, it's a, it's a goddamn experience. You know what I mean? It's like, that's like, 
wearing wearing the shoe for the first time down the hall is like an experience. You're like, oh my god. Same way I felt about a level one. Same way I felt about NMDs, and the same way I felt about Ultra Boost. And that's why I stick with Boost, is because when I put these new models on, it's a new experience, and it's not just another colorway. It's not just cosmetic. It's not just like, oh, look at this material. Because I don't stop people on the street and be like, yo, this material on my shoe is changing my day. But the way that my feet feel, and the way every step I take feels, uh, just reminding me how fucking comfortable my life is that shit changes my whole day so that's just that yeah just a side tangent for a second but anyway upper on this shoe is crazy super sick the best pk and stretchy beautiful uh pattern changes are great i love that it's got this red zigzag doll into the yellow on the medial side and then it opens up towards the outside of the shoe and you get this three stripe pattern uh kind of reminds me of the v2 easy a little bit and also reminds me of um, like a japanese flag like the rising sun but i dig the vibe i like the three stripes i like that they didn't just put like three equipment stripes up here or something so uh this i think is a cool you know cool innovation the whole design i aspect of the top I like, the knitting pattern I like. Ambition written on the top, I'm going to assume, with this being the beta model, this is to represent the card that came with it. It's basically, you know, it would take ambition to create a basketball shoe and become a designer with Adidas, all of these things. Um, I think that's, I think the shoe is to represent how far Pharrell has come and how far he feels that he still has to go. I fuck with it hard. I fuck with the whole vibe of the shoe. You get yellow laces with it that have 3M hits and you also get red laces that I'm sure have 3M hits with yellow tips. I'm starting to think they're just gonna move on to other colors and we're not gonna get this one as a regular release, but I don't have any information. Resale on this pair is up there. This pair is like a thousand bucks, um, which I need to take a moment and just say like super huge thank you to StockX. StockX got me this pair. I did not have to pay for it. StockX hooked it up. I've been working with StockX for a while they've looked out for me on these and i really like cannot be more appreciative of the fact that when i started buying shoes and i started a collection i basically used stock x exclusively to get stuff before really resale was anywhere on boo shoes and stock x had just sort of started and anyone who's followed the story knows that i ended up meeting meeting josh who runs stock x and everyone that works there and i take frequent trips and i love them they're like family to me so them taking care of me like this is is just super humbling and for it to come full circle and to even get a single pair of shoes and not pay for them is super humbling to me to get this pair of shoes and have them bless me is uh just like life goal shit you know like i i live the best life like this is amazing to me i can't say thank you enough honestly super grateful and i have a bunch of shoes and it still feels that way to me so um yeah i absolutely appreciate it. absolutely Really only buy shoes from StockX, people I know, and retailers. I don't really fuck with anybody else. So that's just like, the question is, Teddy, is StockX legit? Yes. Um, as far as the fit goes on this shoe, I say it's, you know, I don't, this is a 13. I probably could squeeze into a 12 and a half, but I feel like the wideness of my foot would kind of spill over. It might not be that comfortable, but there's definitely some length. Like you're just definitely still like half an inch, just like the regular Pharrell and MDs. But I'm starting to feel like it's just, like for my foot, it's just more comfortable. Like I don't have this long narrow foot. I will say that this pair, the toe narrows out a little bit more than um, other shoes. It does feel like it kind of comes to a point a little bit more. I think people are gonna notice that. Like I don't think anyone's toes are gonna fit like right against this narrow piece. I think that's designed on purpose and I'm starting to think even with the NMDs, there's a little room for when your foot maybe slides back and forth because there's not a lot of support to hold your foot in place. I'm like basically fucked because I'm gonna have to buy every color of this shoe pretty much. Oh, great. Ambitions stitched in. We're back to stitched in with the ambition. You can see the red, not kind of looks like the red has bled, but it's not, it's just because it's stitched over. Insole is somewhat removable. I don't think it's meant to be removable, but you could pull it out. It has a little bit more of that ortholite vibe to it, and then it just has that same uh, Pharrell printing. Overall, man, I'm super hype about this. I can't believe how awesome this pair is. I love the change. I love the stitching. I love all the different pattern changes in the PK. I love the possibilities that the future holds. I love you guys for watching the channel. I love StockX. I love Adidas sometimes.
The shoe is super light too. It's like really, really light. It's a very light shoe. I mean, you can just play with it, throw it around, do whatever. It's just, whoa. But yep, that is the uh, Pharrell BYW Beta. Super hyped to get these. Thank you again, StockX. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks to everybody who's been here since the beginning. Last year, I gotta answer this. Hey, what's up? Yo, hey, what's, up, what's good? Yo, so I'm in the store, and they got the hat. So the hat looks cool. It's, yeah. It's just in the back. Okay. Yeah, see, I don't know if that shit will fit though, because it doesn't adjust all the way out. Yeah, I bet it doesn't fit my big ass head. <laughs> Damn, they still got a little bit of shit left. Yeah, they still got like. Uh, I think I'm probably good, man. What was that? I think I'm probably good. Alright. Yeah. You got all the rest of that other stuff, right? Yeah, I got everything else except for the pink there. Okay, that's cool. Alright, right, appreciate you, bro. No problem. Thank you. Okay. That was my kiss stuff. Got all my kiss shit. Got a whole bag of kiss shit. Shout out to my man for that. I don't know if he wants me to say his name, but shout out to my mans for that. Thank you, everybody. Been here. Today was like a really, you know, it was a good day. I wasn't really too sad about Doobie, but it was a good day to reflect on just like, how crazy it's been like the last year. I, I can't even believe what's happened. I can't even believe what's coming. And I just, you know, I am just really excited for the future and wake up every day like pretty excited to live my life, which is all I can really ask for. So thank you guys, appreciate it. I'll see you guys this weekend for the drop. I'll see you back here Monday and I'll see you on Twitch pretty much all weekend. So, all right, love y'all, peace.